What's up YouTube? Welcome to part two of Fever. I decided to make a video showing you guys how to make the melodies, the two melodies that happen in the new Black Keys track. So this is the first one that happens during the first part. The tabs for these are going to be in the description. Please check them out as we're covering these two. Okay, so let's start off with that right there. So I'm on the high E string, 5th fret, play that twice. And then move to the B string, 5th fret, play 5-5-8, five, five, back up to the high E string, 5th fret, twice. So here's the first part. Like that. On the high E string, 5-5. Five, five, B string, 5-5-8, five, five, high E string, 5-5. Five, five. All right, now we're going to go, and that's going to be 5 on the high E string, 8 on the B string, 5 on the B string, and that's going to lead into that part. So. This 5 leads us in to this 6, and that's going to start sort of the second phrase. So, that first one, before I get ahead of myself, alright, now onto the second phrase, starting on fret 6 of the B string. going to be 6-6 six, six on the B, 5-5 five, five on the G string, 5 on the B string, 6-6 six, six on the B string. So that's... And you can roll that if you saw. Going from the G to B, taking my finger and just rolling it across. Six six on the B, five five on the G, five on the B, six six on the B. So the second phrase. So that's how we're gonna lead into the third phrase. This is going to be 6-5 on the B string, 5 on the G string, leading into 7 on the G string, which starts the third phrase. So, so far, seventh fret would start the third phrase. So this is going to go 7-7 seven, seven on the G string now, 7 on the D string twice, 5 on the G string, 7-7 seven, seven on the G string. Like that. And then we're going to go. Leads us into the fourth phrase. So now we're going to go on the G string, 7, 5, 7. On the B string, 5, 6. And this 6 is the beginning of phrase 4. So, all together, so far, the first three phrases. The last 
last one is going to go. So it's going to be 6-6 six, six on the B string, 5-5 five, five on the G string, 5 on the B string, 6-6 six, six on the B string. And then you're going to do this little lick to go back to the beginning. I'm on the B string now, 5, 5, 8, 9, 5 on the high E. You could also do this if you want to. So that's 5, 5, 8 on the B string, and then 4, 5 on the high E string. Or they're both the same line. All four together, really slow. You just play that around, that last note on the high E string, if you want to play it again, that's the beginning. Because I didn't do it enough, I want to play that fourth phrase again. So just to reiterate, that's going to be 6-6 six, six on the B string, 5-5 five, five on the G string, 5 on the B string, 6-6, six, six, and then 5-5-8-9, five, 5 eight, nine, five on the high E, or 5-5-8-4 five, five, and 5 on the high E. Alright, so again, that's going to be in the description. The tabs for that is going to be in the description. On to the second one. This happens at the very end of the track. Okay, this goes like this. Starting on the fifth fret of the D string, you're gonna go five, seven, okay? Five on the G string, seven on the D string, seven on the G string. Like that. Then you're going to go 9, 7, 9. You're going to hit the note, pull it off, and then pluck it again. Great. The next time, again, you play this. And then it's going to be 7, 5, 7 instead of 9, 7, 9. This is the second time. Third time is the same as the first. All right, again, that's five, seven on the D string, seven on the G string, seven on the D string, seven on the G string, and then nine, seven, nine. So you sort of play the same idea three times in a row. The ending's different on the second time. But after that, you're gonna go. So this is gonna be eight on the B string, nine on the G string. That's quick. And then you're gonna go seven on the D string, nine on the G string, seven on the G string. It's also going to be quick. So it's going to be... I'll play the whole thing. And 
And you play that two times around. And that's the end of the track. If you watched my other video, you know right there is going to be the tag at the end. So, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you want more lessons. And send me a comment, send me a message. Let me know what you're thinking. Alright, I'm Sean. I'll see you guys next time.